This video is a step-by-step -step beginner's guide to investing and trading and making money with crypto. For those of you who have been, you know, sending messages and asking, I'm new to crypto, what do I do? How do I get started? This guide is actually for you because it will enable you to get started. All right. So I'm just going to go through this. I want you to pay attention and follow carefully because Everything I'm going to reveal here, the different style of trading, I have made videos separately for that. That is the reason why you need to subscribe to the channel. If you are new here, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. And if you want to join my community, okay, you can join the Telegram using the link in the video description. Now, when it comes to investing and making money with crypto, okay, there are two major ways you can actually get involved. And the first way is the long-term style of investment, okay? And then the second option is the short-term style of investment. Long-term are for those who want to buy, for instance, you want to buy Bitcoin, you want to buy Ethereum, and then you hold it because you believe in it you believe that maybe in the next five ten years from now ethereum will be either times ten of what the price is currently is right now and then you can sell and flip that for profit those who are actually enjoying in the crypto space those who are holding bitcoin ethereum bnb and other major cryptocurrencies are those who bought at the initial when everything started I actually have someone who bought bitcoin okay he said instead of allowing um his money to be in the bank he wants to put it into bitcoin and he bought bitcoin at sixteen thousand dollars and today as at the time of making this video one bitcoin is twenty eight thousand dollars so you can imagine the profit difference this guy has made and he's still holding on to this so if you want to hold long term that is a way to go okay then if you want to be a day trader by making profit with the short-term movement okay the volatility in the crypto market then the short-term investment is for you and we're going to look at the different ways you can actually trade both for long term and short term so before you start what you need to actually start is to have a centralized exchange i have to highlight this here as centralized because um centralized exchange are different from decentralized exchanges we have decentralized and then we have decentralized exchanges, but you need a centralized exchange. And there are hundreds of these exchanges out there. All right. There are hundreds of these exchanges out there. You don't need all of them, but you need to use the major ones at least. Now, what centralized exchange does is that um, they actually provide an opportunity for long term and short term investors. If you want to hold for long term, they equally provide a wallet where you can hold your crypto and then you start earning some profit if you want to do that with the centralized exchange centralized exchange are the exchanges that will enable you to exchange your fiat currency your local currency to crypto and your crypto to your local currency okay so that is why we need a centralized exchange and these exchanges are there are many of them but i recommend that you stick with a few and the ones you want to use are most of these popular exchanges like Bybit, we have Binance, we have Bitget, we have KuCoin, we have OKS, and then we have FedEx. FedEx is a new exchange in the market. Okay, among the hundreds of exchanges out there, you want to stick with this few that I've uh, actually mentioned there. Do you need to have more than one exchange? Yes, you do need to have more than one exchange because in one of the style of trading that I'll be mentioning as we proceed further, um, is arbitrage trading. Arbitrage can work between exchanges. Okay, so in that case you need more than one exchange there are some opportunity or trading opportunity that will come with a particular crypto pair that is listed in one exchange that is not listed in another exchange so that is why you need more than one exchange to trade crypto so as we proceed further there are terms or terminologies that i want you there are a whole lot, lot of them there are thousands of them but i just pick a few that i think is actually necessary um in the crypto space you'll be hearing things like bull and bear bull and bear when we talk about the market is bullish when we say that the market is bullish we're actually saying the market is pumping okay when the market keep buying and keep going up it is bullish when the market keep falling and keep dumping it is bearish and another word for that is long okay when you talk about buy we are referring to long when you talk about long we are referring to buy and when you talk about sell we are referring to short and when you talk about short we are referring to 
um, set. Then another term you should be aware of is leverage, the use of leverage. I will explain this more when I talk about the style of trading that deals with leverage. Then we have market orders. These are all available on the exchange, any of the exchange that you are going to use. Some of the popular market order types are limit orders, market orders, stop limit orders, OCO, conditional. Depending on the exchange you are going to use, this actually varies. Now, the market order types, what they do is to allow you automate your trading system. If you buy a, a coin at a certain price and you want to sell at a certain price, you don't need to sit down there and look at the market. You can use a limit order to place an order to sell when the price get there. You use limit order to place an order to buy at a certain level. Likewise, stop limit, OCO, and conditional orders. All of these all have its own effect and we'll treat them more when we start dealing with um, you know, trading with any of the exchange that offers these uh, market order types. Then we have what we call technical analysis, okay? Uh, when it comes to predicting whether the market will go up or down, we use tools that are available. And one of the chatting platform or website that you need is called TradingView. So you can go to TradingView website. I have a link to TradingView in the video description. You can sign up for one. You can go to TradingView website and do your technical analysis based on past event on that particular market. That is what technical analysis or TA is all about. Then we have the fundamental analysis. This has to do with some economic news. And then when you're looking at the crypto project, you want to know how much that, you know, uh, has been invested into that crypto project. You want to know the people behind the crypto project. You want to know the problem that that project is actually solving. All of this actually determines um, how successful that project will be. So those are some of the fundamentals that surrounds the crypto space. And these two technical and fundamental are the key movers in the market. Okay. So you want to equally pay attention to that. These are things we can trade in separate videos. Now for the exchanges that I've mentioned, I equally have links to all of them in the video description. Just use the link there to sign up for any of the exchange of your choice. So if you want to be among those who want to trade crypto for a living, one thing you should know is that unlike um, forest trading, there are different ways one can get involved trading crypto for profit. And these different ways include spot trading. Okay, this is like the default style of trading crypto. And uh, I will explain more in, in a bit. We have uh, margin trading, we have features and perpetual contract, we have P2P trading, then we have arbitrage trading. There are um, other style of trading like options and the rest, but I just want to stick with this because these are the ones that anybody who wants to come into the space will want to make money with. These are the basics, okay? These ones are easy to understand and deal with, all right? So these are all of this, you can actually get involved in trading sport or specialize in margin or you can get involved in trading all of these different style. When we talk about sport trading, as I said earlier, sport trading is the basic or the default style of trading. And what this entails is that you are exchanging a particular crypto asset for another. If I have USDT, I can use USDT to buy Bitcoin. If I buy Bitcoin, let's say one, two Bitcoin, I have those two Bitcoin that I can hold on to. So even if the price drops, let's say I buy at 28000 today and the price dropped to $1,000, uh, $1, I still have that one Bitcoin that I, I bought. So I can hold on to that one Bitcoin until the price increases by the certain percentage that I want to sell for profit and I can flip that for profit. That is spot trading for you. So you exchange one cryptocurrency for another in the quest to make profit. So the whole idea behind um, spot trading is that you buy low and you sell high. Okay, you cannot buy high and sell low. You won't make profit that way. So you only buy low and then you sell high. At any price you want to buy any crypto asset, you wait for it to increase and you sell. That is the only way you make profit. So you exchange one crypto asset to another. You can exchange your dollar for crypto and then wait for it to increase and then sell the crypto back to dollar. Or you exchange your Naira for crypto, wait for the market to increase a bit and sell your crypto to Naira. That is spot trading for you. OK, then the other option we have is margin trading. Margin trading is just buying crypto asset and selling. But in the case of margin, we use leverage. OK, this is where one of the aspects of trading that leverage comes in. Now, the way margin trading works is 
if I want to buy a particular crypto asset and I'm using the margin trading market, what happens is some exchanges offers from one from 3x leverage to 10x leverage. Okay, majority of the exchanges offers or based on the crypto asset actually you want to trade, you want to buy and sell, they offer from 3x leverage to 10x leverage. So if Bitcoin on a particular exchange is offering 10x leverage, it means that with my $1,000, if I use that $1,000 as collateral, I can get up to $10,000 to trade Bitcoin. And whatever profit I made, I just pay the percentage and keep the whole amount of money to myself or the rest of the profit to myself. What this means is that instead, if you are in a particular trade, you're making 10%. Normally, it's $1,000 you have. If your $1,000, 10% of your $1,000 was supposed to be $10. Okay, in this case, because you have now used leverage in margin trading by magnifying your account, your profit will now be 10% of $10,000 as against the $1,000 that you initially have. So margin trading works in both ways. You can make money when the market is going up and you can make money when the market is going down. For example, when Bitcoin currently is at $28,000, so if you notice from your technical analysis that Bitcoin will go down to $24,000, you can use margin trading option to borrow two Bitcoin, sell it immediately at $28,000. And then when the market drops to twenty-four, dollars for instance, you can now use that money that you sold two Bitcoin for to buy more Bitcoin. When you buy more Bitcoin, you can pay back the exchange, the two Bitcoin you borrowed initially and keep the rest of the money for yourself, okay? And then if you notice that the market is going up, you can borrow money to buy that particular asset and when it goes up to a certain level you sell pay back the loan you borrowed and keep the rest of the profit for yourself but before you do that you need to have a collateral so you can start with as little as hundred dollars and the rest and you can you know um get three times that amount of money or ten times that amount of money to trade that is what margin trading is all about so the next option we have here is futures trading futures trading for those of us who are referred to as day traders this is what we do okay futures trading is where leverage is used in its totality so what leverage does on futures trading is that you can get from as low as two times the amount of money you have to as high as 125 times the amount of money you have and in the crypto trading space when we refer to leverage we refer to it as let's say if you want to get two times we have 1x 2x 10x you know 125x 25x leverage 50x leverage all of those are referred you know when you see 1x or 2x or 3x they are all referred to the use of leverage in trading crypto so when you come to futures trading you select the leverage you want to use okay i have specific videos that deal with all of this in details all right and i will leave the links to all of them to I'll leave links to all of this in the video description. So if I have $100 and I want to trade in the futures market, what I want to do is to transfer my $100 into my futures trading account. Then I can select the number of leverage I want to use. If I select 10x leverage, it means that whatever trading I'm going to carry out, my $100 will now be turned to $1,000. So I'll be trading with $1,000 worth of that crypto asset and whatever profit I made, it will be equated to that amount of leverage that I'm using. Okay, now leverage can help you to grow your account very fast. The same way it, it helps you to grow your account very fast, the same way it can actually let you lose your money immediately. Okay, so when using leverage, you want to be very conscious of, you know, how to apply that. Not because the exchange offers you up to 125s leverage, you just go ahead and enter the market blindly. If you do that, the market will equally kick you out blindly. All right. So the next style of trading is P2P. P2P trading is the way you exchange your local currency to crypto and crypto to your local currency. And this is a full-time business for a lot of persons, okay? In Nigeria, in some other African countries and some countries around the world that they, don't, they are not allowed to buy directly with their bank or buy directly with their card, okay, with their credit and debit card. What they can do is leverage on the person okay or the peer-to-peer -peer style of trading so 
why we will not do it directly is because you can transfer your money to me and I vanish. But when you do it with the exchange, the exchange can secure that person's money. Okay, then before you even once you engage that person in P2P trading, I will explain this when I make a video on P2P trading. Once you engage somebody in P2P trading, uh, the person asset of the equivalent you want to buy is automatically seized by that exchange until that transaction is completed. The reason for this is because they don't want you to lose money, neither do they want the other party to lose money. So P2P trading is a way people exchange their local currency to crypto and crypto to their local currency. So with P2P trading, you can buy crypto with your Naira and sell crypto that back to your Naira that relate to your bank account. Okay. And this is a full-time business for a lot of persons. I will walk you step by step on how to do P2P trading. There are a whole lot of arbitrage opportunity on P2P trading. So we'll be looking at all of that. That is the reason why you need to subscribe to the channel. Okay. Hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified when videos like these are published. All right. So you can decide to specialize in this and do it daily for profit or do every other style of trading that I've explained to you. Now, the other option we have here is the arbitrage style of trading. When we talk about arbitrage trading, what we are simply referring to is making profit in price different. It could be between a particular crypto asset, okay, a particular crypto pair against the other crypto pair. It could be between exchanges. It could be between um, countries, currencies. All right. Now, when it happens between exchanges, it means that you can see Bitcoin trading on a particular exchange for 28,000. And then you see Bitcoin trading in another exchange for how much? 28,100. So what you want to do is to leverage on that difference in price. It could be tiny, but when you trade a very high volume, at the end of the day, those penny penny can join together to give you a whole lot so when we talk about arbitrage trading is you can leverage between exchanges you can leverage between different crypto pairs you can leverage between you know countries and and the rest okay for instance i can buy if it is a country to country arbitrage style of trade i can buy usdt at 700 and 50 naira in in nigeria and then go to kenya and sell that at 1000 in my own currency okay sell it in their own currency and if you have a way of that money coming back to you that is a lot of profit for you all right so arbitrage trading is one very popular key that a lot of persons have made money from and another thing is that because it is common um a lot of scammers have actually capitalized on this and then scammed a lot of people of their hard earned money so you want to be very careful when you get involved with arbitrage trading and then we'll be looking at this in depth as we proceed further so basically arbitrage once again can happen between exchanges it can happen between countries it can happen between um you know crypto pairs within the exchange so we'll look into um we we'll look at it in details as we proceed with our trainings okay so basically in summary what um this is all about is just to give you an idea of what you should be expecting if you want to go into crypto trading you need a centralized exchange now when we talk about centralized exchanges they are owned and controlled by individuals okay so just like your banks so um for you to be able to use any centralized exchange you need to do kyc you need you know to get your account verified and you need to be of age so it is recommended that you get your you do your kyc using a government issued id card in nigeria you can use your bvn you can use your nin you can use your voters card you can use your driving license you can use your international passport any government issued id card can be used to do your kyc in most of the exchanges so for you to have you know um access to transact with a lot of volume not to be restricted with certain things you need to do kyc so i just want to do this brief introduction to let you know that these are some of the things you need to get started so to get started first you have an account with the exchange get your account verified and then the next thing is to fund your account by converting your local currency into crypto and then you can use that to start trading now when it comes to the crypto trading pairs there are what we call stable coin and non-stable coin stable coins are the um crypto asset that has you know its value paired to a dollar okay for instance we have usdt we have busd we have usdc and many of them are there so one usdt is equivalent to one dollar this the fluctuation in the crypto market does not affect it 
okay the fluctuation in the crypto market does not affect it so if it is one dollar it is one dollar that is why we always sell our asset when we want to take profit into um, stable coins and then from stable coins we use them to buy again so as a short-term trader what you want to take advantage of is what you can see here, okay the market in the crypto space goes up comes down goes up comes down so you want to take advantage by buying here selling up and then if you are trading features you want to short when it goes up you want to long when it comes down and all of that this is just a basic introduction and you will understand more about this when we go into um, details about you know different style of trading i've made videos already which i promise to leave links in the video description so that is all i have for you in this video and i'll see you in the next video if you are new to the channel please support the channel by subscribing when you subscribe hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published okay and then you can use the link my telegram group is in the video description use the link to join the telegram group if you don't have an account with any of this exchange use the link i've provided to sign up for one and i'll see you in my next video